Okay, we're gonna talk about inflating your board properly and why your pump is not broken. Um, so first of all, let's go ahead and look at this gauge. All right, we're gonna get a close up on this gauge and we'll see we have PSI and bar. So we're going by PSI. Um, most of your boards have a recommended PSI. It's typically a range. So it may range between 10 and 20 on the scale. Um, so our goal is to shoot for, you know, whatever the recommended PSI is on your board. Now, re realize that if it's a hot day, hot air does expand. So um, you may need to go like one or two less if it's a range. You know, if it's like 10 to 15, maybe you go up to 13 or 14. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, second thing to consider is that your um, gauge will not register until you get close to eight on the scale. So it's going to be zero. It may, you know, pop up a little bit as you're pumping and go back down. But <laughs> realize that it's going to take a good 10 plus minutes of continuous pumping for that to actually pop up to around the eight and start registering. And then the pumping is going to get really hard. Okay. Um, one thing to consider is that it takes the average person about 15 plus or minus minutes of continuous pumping to get their board fully inflated. All right, so I see so many people out there for like five minutes, they're like, oh, this is so hard. Their board looks like it's fully inflated. They feel it. Their board feels, you know, fully inflated and they, they think they're good to go and then they get on their water and their board is like jello. Okay, you got to get up to that recommended PSI. You're not going to, your, your gauge is not broken. Your board's not going to explode. Um, trust your gauge. I've seen very few pumps actually broken. Typically, if it's broken, it won't register at all. But realize if it hasn't been at least 10 minutes of continuous pumping, um, you probably haven't even got up to eight yet. Okay, so the next thing, we got this guy, all right? So um, this, this pump has a valve. Some pumps have like a switch, all right? Sometimes it'll say single action, there'll be instructions. Some, some, um, some of these will say single dual action. Okay, what that means is right now, uh, before I get up until eight PSI, I wanna keep it on dual action. That means air is going into my board when I go up, okay, when it's pulling in and when I'm pushing down. Um, when I get to about eight, I mentioned the eight, because that's when it starts to feel a lot tougher. You're really having to put some, some muscle and some weight into it. That's usually where I either flip that switch over or I take this out and I'm going to go now to single action. So now air is just going in as I push down. Okay. And it's going to feel a lot easier. Again, as I get towards the end of that scale, as I get towards my recommended or goal PSI, it's going to be tough. Okay. It's going to be a workout. I consider this like a good warm up for my paddling. All right. So just keep on pumping, keep on pumping. Your, your pump, your gauge is not broken. Um, you want a good solid board when you head out. It's gonna give you more stability and more confidence on the water.